Good afternoon. Good afternoon, people of God. How are you? I hope you guys had an amazing day. Um, I did. I started early. It was chilly. It's chill, still chilly, but it's done warm up some. You know, it ain't that chilly. It was like 30-something this morning when I left out of the house. So, ooh, ooh, me. I got up so early. Um, it was 30-something. Now it's about 60, so that's kind of nice. I got my long johns. I, I ain't put my long johns out yet. Who I think Love Notes told me to order those. I think I ordered those like last year or earlier this year. And I haven't worn them yet, so I, I already know for a fact, baby, when winter here, I will be wearing them. Because we really ain't in full winter yet, you know. And they say it's supposed to be warmer this weekend. But today, we're chilly. Ooh, ooh, not chilly enough for me to pull out the long johns. <laughs> oh, but anyway, how was you guys today? If you feel like sharing, you can share. I pray that it was marvelous. Um, and it's still continuously being marvelous, right? I um, what I want to say, people of God, the the right people, they want you. The right people want you just as much as you want the right people in your life. See, the more you focus on your own business, the more we focus mind our own business, stay in our own lane. I told you what I posted the other day. Divine connections are happening. I'm telling you what I know, what's already happening in my life. Divine connections are happening, but you keep them private. You have to test. Make sure that, they're, you know, you have to test them as the as, as folk come, you know, and let them be confirmed. Let God confirm them. Sometimes we have been too quick to share everything. And sometimes you try to share stuff just to be transparent or just to think you're being open with people. This ain't the time for that, baby. This ain't the time for that. No. This is the time to focus on your own business and let your little light shine. And even while you're letting your little light shine, don't share too much about yourself because we have an adversary that roams of people watchers that sit back and just watch. Because <laughs> they got too much time on their hand. They ain't doing nothing productive other than sitting back watching and maybe running their mouth or soaking up learning other people learning information about people but are causing chaos you know when you got when you keep yourself busy you ain't got time to keep, cause chaos you ain't got time to try to hurt nobody you ain't got time to try to you know throw no stones at nobody because you're too busy but the right people want you they discussing you they talk about you they may have looked at some of your work i'm telling you what i know i ain't telling you what i reckon i'm telling you what i know they may look at some of your work they see what you do. They study you. It's people that study you for a good reason because they want to confirm that you are the right person. Your heart is in the right posture. They want to confirm that they want to bring you on and help work on their projects. You know, they want to make sure your heart is in the right posture. And when they learn that your heart ain't in the right posture, because see, there's a lot of people that do things just for money. But then there's some of us, we do what we do from our heart, you know, because, you know, it's in us because we love. Um, Jagged Edge has a, uh, there's a verse in their song, Goodbye, that says, there's more to life than loving yourself. You got to learn to love somebody else. And that's why I do the things that I do. I love that verse. I like that song too. I love me some good RB and some rap, <clears throat> you know, but um, I love that verse. And there's some people that they, they will, they, they learn of you. And they see that bright light, that bright light, like maybe the wrong people never could accept it. Remember I did that video, you'll never be right for the wrong people. The wrong people could never appreciate your light. And then, and, and not only that, sometimes your light shines so bright, it causes folk who think that they, or who thought they were healed to maybe see areas in their lives that they weren't fully healed in, which is really a blessing. But if their hearts are not in the right posture, they're going to look at you as an enemy, as you. They're going to look at you as a problem. But the right people, they ain't looking at you as no problem, baby. I'm telling you what. I ain't telling you what I reckon. I'm telling you what I know. Divine connections are happening. And it's all for the glory of God. All things work together for the good of those who love the Lord. See, when you love the Lord, 
everything's working together for your good so god so you can shine brighter but also so god can get the glory so so the kingdom of heaven can get the glory you know all things work together for the good of those who love the lord and this is why it says and are called according to his purpose you see so god gotta be in your heart god gotta be in your heart baby we can't play god when you love him for real you ain't got to be perfect. Ain't none of us perfect. We'll never be perfect. But when that heart is in the right posture, and you know you've been studying the Word of God, working towards His way, trying to walk uprightly, pressing your way through some hard days, some trying days, God is faithful to reward the just. I'm not telling you what I reckon. I'm telling you what I know. Stay focused on your own business, and you will see the progress. You will see the hand of God. You can't you can't count your blessings if you're focusing on what somebody else doing in their lane. You can't count your own blessings. You can't be content. You can't be satisfied. See, Daniel's enemies was not satisfied. You know why they wasn't satisfied? Even though they had all that promotion, they had that status, they was making good money, they was in positions of leadership, they wasn't satisfied because they kept their eyes on Daniel. If they would have stayed and mind their own business. See? The money ain't motivate them to mind their own business. The power that they had, the, the, the level of authority that they had, did not motivate them to mind their own business. So, that's what got them in trouble. Because they kept their eyes on Daniel, watching somebody else. And they was already blessed. You know? <laughs> they wasn't satisfied. And then you get some people too greedy, you know? Haman wasn't satisfied. But anyway, Haman wasn't satisfied, so what happened? He kept eyeing little Mordecai, not knowing that that was God's anointed. Touch not my anointed, do my prophets no harm. The right people, they want you. They want to work with you. They're going to honor you. They're going to respect you. They're going to love on you. They're going to pour into you. They may criticize you because we can all grow Hey, having the right people in your ear, giving you constructive criticism is a blessing. Oh, it's a blessing, baby. It's a blessing to have the right people in your ear, folk you can talk to, folk you can communicate with, folk who want to be in communication with you and give you feedback. And they also learn, take from you. They're going to see you as a blessing. See, the right people will see you as a blessing and they want to work with you. They honored to work with you. I'm telling you what I know now. So anyway, that's all I want to share. Keep having a blessed day. If nobody told you that they love you today, then no, you already know. Your little country bucking sister loves you. It's only one of you in this whole wide world, baby. Walk in confidence. See, when you walk in confidence because you know who God, you know who your God is, you believe in his word, you stand on his promise. There might be some people that mistake your confidence for arrogance, but it's okay. You just make sure you ain't arrogant. See, you know who you are. So it don't matter. A lot of people going to get you wrong. But there are going to be some folk that get you right. When you climbing that ladder up to success, everybody ain't going to get you. But guess what? You ain't for everybody. <laughs> and when you get that in your mind, you'll be able to keep walking with confidence. Some people ain't going to like the way you talk. Some people ain't going to like the way you walk. Some people ain't going to like the way you dress. Some people ain't going to like the way there's nothing about you. They might not like you out of here. Some people might not like your hair. Oh, well, it's yours. Or do you like your hair? Then that's fine. As long as you happy, then that's good. If you like you, then your little country bunking sister loves you. <laughs> you got to love yourself first, baby. So anyway, continue to stay focused. Mind your own business. Stay focused on what you got going on. And count them blessing that God is lining up for you. Count the blessing that God is lining up for you. Thou prepare a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. So they're going to watch you. You're going to have the enemies watching you. they just doing what the scriptures already. It's already been written in scripture. <laughs> Thou prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Thou anointed my head with all. Oh, glory. They see that anointing. in the scripture being fulfilled. Nothing new under the sun, baby. Ain't nothing new under the sun. Have a blessed day. Now keep shining bright. Focus on what you got going on. Get tunnel vision. Keep your tunnel vision on your own lane. Keep encouraging and motivating your brothers and sisters wherever you go. 
keep a smile on your face. The smile is just, it brightens up other people's day. I'm telling you now, it brightens other people's day. And stay positive. You're making more progress than you even realize. Keep your head low. Don't keep it, don't tell everybody everything going on with you. Folks don't need to know all the details of your business. On all details of what's going on with you. Ask yourself why. Why do I feel like I need to answer this question? Folk come answer you question. Oh, what you do? Oh, what you? What? They, you know, and sometimes some people can be bold with their questions too. Know that they're being intrusive, and you be bold with your answer. Sometimes giving a crazy answer. Oh, what you do? How you? What you? How you making your money? Oh, I just crawl around on my knees and cut people grass with my teeth. Yeah, you need a job? Hmm. You need your grass cut? Oh, they will talk about you then. <laughs> that fool, that dummy, that smart. <laughs> Gonna get smart with me. And I just ask her, what can she make her money? What kind of job she do? Let them get mad. Let them talk. People sit, some people sit on the phone and talk all day. Some people text all day talking about people. But they ain't got nothing else to do but sit around and talk about people. Don't get caught up in them crowds. Stay on the, stay on your little narrow path, minding your own business, and keep moving. When the buzzards come, because they will come at any time, any given hour, they just going to pop up and show up. They hate to see you happy. They get mad when they see you happy. They get mad when they see you, a smile on your face that you stay and enjoy. But stay in joy. And when them buzzards come, beat them back with the word, baby. Beat them back with the word. And keep on moving. Don't even turn. Boop. Get your peripheral vision. Boop. Keep going. Have a blessed day. That's just my little two cents. Now, the right people want you. The right people want you. And they're going to honor that life. They're going to respect you. They're going to appreciate your life. Have a blessed day. I love you.